everyone welcome back I hope you're having an awesome week so in this video we're gonna be making what I'm calling a chicken pot pie casserole um, it's gonna be easy it could be a meal prep something that you freeze something that you cook a couple days before and you can get a couple meals out of it but um, it's gonna be chicken pot pie casserole and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make my chicken and my filling in the casserole dish and then the reason why I'm calling it as a pot pie is because we used to do this when I was in high school and we would um, put like the biscuits on top and it would be kind of like um, reminiscent of a pot pie because it would be like the flaky crust with the um, with the soup and the veggies and chicken and everything all so it would taste like a pot pie so that's kind of what I'm trying to recreate in this video um, it was super delicious so um, what I'm gonna be using for my biscuits are actually the um, rendition of the Red Lobster Cheddar Bay biscuits so we're gonna get to making those first and then I will show you what's gonna be inside our pot pie and um, I hope that you guys really enjoy this while you're here make sure you do me a favor if you can go down and hit the subscribe button give me a thumbs up leave me a comment I appreciate you guys so much um, for leaving me comments and liking and subscribing. Thank you so much. Um, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Michelle and I've lost already 80 pounds on my journey. It's huge, humongous, and um, I want to help as many people out there lose as much weight as they want to lose too and eat so many delicious things like I do. So let's get to making our chicken pot pie casserole. So the first thing that we're going to do actually is we're going to uh, melt our mozzarella cheese and our cream cheese together. So here I have it in my double boiler and um, if you have a microwave it makes it way quicker and way easier but I don't have a microwave so um, I'm going to melt a cup and a half of mozzarella and four ounces of cream cheese together. That's kind of going to be your base just like the fat head dough. So we're going to melt that in the double boiler and then while that's melting we're going to put two thirds cup of almond flour, a four teaspoons of baking powder and a teaspoon of garlic. I've already put them all in the same measuring cup and then I'm going to leave my eggs for a minute but I'll be right back. Okay so here we are. I melted my cheese and my cream cheese in the double boiler and I blended them together really nice. And then I'm going to mix it into my almond flour, baking powder, and um, garlic powder. And then we're going to mix that all together. And then we're going to add two eggs. And the great thing about these biscuits is they're so versatile. You can use them for like a breakfast sandwich. You can put some eggs and avocado and eggs and bacon. Um, you can just eat them on the side. You can make the dough ahead of time, meal prep, make two batches and eat one batch and freeze the other ones. And that way um, you can just heat them up when you want them. You can pretty much do anything with this um, with this dough, so it's a really great thing. Really enjoy them. So then we're gonna take two eggs, and this is gonna make our dough. And then we're gonna add in a cup of cheddar cheese just to top it. I know it is a lot of cheese, so if you want to alter it in any way, you can definitely do that. But this was the version that I was taught, and this is what I really like, so. Nice and garlicky. Yum.
All right, so now that that's mixed in a little bit, I'm gonna mix in my cheddar cheese. Since they are Cheddar Bay Biscuits, I'm gonna get that cheddar flavor in there. And then it is gonna be kind of, um, it is gonna be kind of like um, gooey and we're going to put it in our refrigerator for about 20 to 30 minutes just to get it to like harden up a little bit and kind of form more into dough so we can shape it into eight biscuits. And then we're going to par cook them a little bit and then we'll finish them off on our casserole. While these are in the refrigerator, I'm going to show you guys what's going to be in the base of our casserole so we can start to get that going. I'll be back in a second. Okay guys, so now we're going to start making our chicken pot pie. So, you can, um, I took a step out of this for myself just to make it easier so I didn't have a million things going on. So I actually bought a rotisserie chicken. I cut off the chicken breasts and I chopped them up, diced them up, so that's what it looks like. And that saved me a huge step because then I didn't have to buy the chicken, defrost the chicken, cook the chicken, whatever else. So that saved me a lot of time. So um, anything that you can do when you're a mom and you can save time and you have busy life. Um, it was great because I worked earlier today and then I didn't have to come cook the chicken too. So that's good. So then I have cream of chicken soup. I have two cans of it. And I'm going to put that in. I don't know if you can hear my kids screaming in the background, but... Being a mom of three, it happens. Um... Alright, and then what you want to do when you have cream of chicken soup it's a condensed soup so you want to make sure that you add water usually it's one to one but I'm using frozen veggies to make my life again make my life easier you can use canned veggies but since I'm using frozen veggies they have a little bit more water to them so when they cook they're gonna cook the water out a little bit so if you use the canned veggies then you might want to add one to one water but um, I'm using the frozen veggies so I'm just gonna add one can of water and then um, I'm going to add in my veggies. Alright, so here's our condensed soup. I added one extra thing of water. I'm going to add a little bit of my vegetables. Um, you don't have to add the same exact ones, but I was thinking that um, cauliflower and broccoli would be good. Um, I also want to add carrots and green beans. I think carrots and green beans are usually in a, typically in a pot pie, so that's usually what I think of. Um, some people are really strict with their keto and they say absolutely no carrots, but, you know, I just think carrots are healthy for you, so you need the nutrition and the nutrients, and my kids like a lot of green beans, so I'm going to add a lot of green beans, and then we're going to mix this all together, and then we're going to bake it in the oven, and then we're going to come back and we're going to ba par-bake our Cheddar Bay Biscuits. Yum. So if you guys make something like this, um, let me know if um, you guys do something in particular with your Cheddar Bay Biscuits, let me know that, and I will be back with you guys in a minute. Alright guys, so here's our dough. I'm just going to divide it in half so it's easier to work with. But it makes about 8 um, biscuits. So, and then these are going to bake, par-bake for about 5 to 8 minutes. And then we're going to just finish them off on our, on top of our chicken pot pie. So let's see... They don't need long, so you don't want to overcook them. 
And this is just to get them a little bit par baked before they go on our um, before they go on our chicken pot pie. And I don't know, I'm just trying to think of creative ideas and, you know, to make life more interesting and enjoyable. And I think that um, I saw a lot of people eating pot pie this past week and I was really craving it. And um, what I love about keto is that you can pretty much um, make anything be on your diet as long as you alter it slightly. So... Um, that's one of the most enjoyable things I think I've had about this experience and it really is a lifestyle change because rather than saying like oh I'm gonna do this for a while till I lose the weight and then I'm not gonna do it anymore I have really adapted this mentality of okay I could live without this and, and put this in place of something else so um, I hope that you guys will all take this journey with me. If you're on your own journey, I hope that you are um, making the most out of it and really enjoying it because, you know, you only get one life. You want to make sure that you really do enjoy it. So I think some of these are a little bit big, actually. I'm just trying to get them about an equal size so they all cook about the same amount of time. I'm trying to make sure that I have eight. Alright, and there we go. It's about good. And I also have, I have three kids, so a lot of the things that I try to make, I try to make with families in mind, with people with different taste preferences and palettes, so I really try to make sure that I make something that everyone will like, and this way I'm not cooking like eight different meals. I really want to make this sustainable, and it's not sustainable if I have to be cooking all night to make one meal. Alright guys, our Cheddar Bay biscuits are just about done. I actually cooked them for a couple minutes longer than I actually wanted to. I wanted to finish them off on the um, on the casserole. But here's how our casserole is doing. It looks delicious. Chicken pot pie. And then I'm just gonna um, put these on top and cook them for a minute. Um, what I did um, with the chicken pot pie casserole was I just added a bunch of spices. I threw in some Italian seasoning, some vegetable seasoning, some cracked black pepper, um, some parsley, some garlic powder. Basically, I threw in a little bit of everything. I have um, a whole cabinet full of spices. And um, I really like my food to have a lot of flavor, so I always jazz it up with some spices. I use some of that Tony Chichuri seasoning that I really love. I'll link that to the bottom below. And um, really all that's left is just to finish these off, put the um, the biscuits on top, and voila, there you go, chicken pot pie. I hope that you guys enjoy. I hope that you guys will subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment. Um, have a good night. I love you guys so much. Alright, so here we go. Our biscuits are on top, and they really just need another minute, so I'm going to go pop this in the oven for a minute.